Captain Underpants, Sith Lord Thrumno here, Mario Hernandez here to review the newest, oh, newest Captain Underpants movie, the probably the only one. Now, Captain Underpants is based off some old, some not they're not that old, but there's some some books or comic books. I don't know if you would consider them comic books or not real, you know, books. But okay, let's just call them comic books. This movie is mainly aimed for kids. This movie tries really hard to be. You know what Pixar does. It really tries to hit the adult and you know the younger, gener the, the older generations. You know, it tries to it tries to make the adults laugh and it tries to have adult humor. You know, adult smart smart humor in there, and it doesn't have it. This movie tries really hard to be you know funny for adults and for kids, but for the most part, the movie is just toilet bowl humor. <laughs> Ironically, it's pretty funny. Um, I did read a couple of these books when I was, you know, in grade school, so, but it was never to the point where I really loved these books or anything, where I held them deal to my heart. I don't, so, you know, I don't, I'm not really affected by all this, you know, the nostalgia or anything. This movie's okay. It's not the worst. It's not the best animated movie of the year. It's not going to be on the list. Um, this movie's fun for kids, I would say, it's for, if you have, you know, like a, I would say probably 10 or younger, a kid or a brother, a sibling, nephew, niece, take them to see the movie and they'll probably enjoy it. They'll probably have some, you know, a couple laughs, enjoy the animation, enjoy the funny corpse and the toilet bowl humor. But for everyone else, this movie is just, it's whatever. You could probably fall asleep in it. It's not, you know, it's not horrible. It's not horrendous. It's not, I'm not saying, oh, it's going to be one of the worst of the year. It's okay. It's. I mean, I had fun in the movie just because, you know, I've read the books before, so I know, you know, all the little references and stuff like that. I understood them, and I understood the characters, and seeing Captain Underpants on screen was pretty hilarious. And Ed Helms, by the way, he does a pretty good job playing Captain Underpants, and it just, it hit a lot of right notes, just because, you know, he's hilarious from The Office, and seeing... Well, not seeing him, but hearing him as his character was pretty hilarious. You know, I recognized his voice instantly. And he does a pretty good job playing this character. You, you could tell he really put effort into this character. He didn't just come and record his voice and then just put the movie out. He actually generally cared about this character and this movie and this performance. This movie is okay, guys. It's not the worst movie of the year. And it's not the best. This movie, honestly, is passable. If you, you probably won't remember it. You know, a week after, you probably won't even care that much coming out. It's okay, guys. Um, I'm honestly just going to give this movie 5 out of 10 Sith Lords. It's not the worst movie. Like I said, it's not the best animated movie. It's not the worst animated movie. It's okay. It's one of those movies where you won't remember it as being bad. And you won't remember it as being good. You'll probably just forget that you saw it as a whole. But 10 years from now, you'll be like, oh, I've been underpants. Did I see that movie? I'm not, I'm, I'm not so quite sure. That's, it's going to be one of those movies. Um, but yeah, guys, what did you guys think of Captain Underpants? Make sure you guys comment below and let me know. And as always, guys, make sure if you, if you guys enjoyed, like and subscribe. Check my, check out my own channel, Sith Lord 310. I will post in the description below. And check out War of the Stars later this week, where we talk about Power Front 2. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, may the Force be with you.